high sage cap from advanced dental artistry. Teeth whitening is probably the most common cosmetic dental procedure done. It's been around for decades and we know that it is safe as long as it's done in the right conditions. There are really two types of whitenings that we look at. One is home whitening where the patient is actually using trays and delivering the whitening at home. Or there is what we call in chair whitening which is sometimes called laser whitening which is done in the clinic. The chemistry about whitening really is the concentration of the gel and the time that it's placed on the teeth. And this is why such things like whitening toothpaste doesn't really have an effect on the teeth because the concentration is very low. We know when we brush our teeth, we only probably brush our teeth for one to two minutes and then we rinse it out. So therefore the time that the gel is on the teeth is also very low. So most of those products are quite ineffective. When it comes to home whitening, the most important thing to do is to always make sure that the teeth are cleaned, as in cleaned by a hygienist so there's no calculus or tartar on the teeth, and secondly that there is no decay in the teeth because we can't have whitening gel going into decayed teeth. When it comes to these products, the most important thing is actually customising the concentration of the gel for the patient. There are some patients, for example, that can't tolerate having trays in their mouth for a long period of time or don't like wearing trays at night and hence we may use a very high concentration but only have it on for a very short period of time in order to do the home whitening. Laser whitening or in-chair whitening involves actually using a very high concentration of gel that can only be used by a dentist or a dental hygienist and actually using a light to activate that gel. So what we're doing is we're increasing the chemical reaction by using the light. All whitening is very effective as long as it's actually customised for the patient. The other interesting thing to remember with whitening is that whitening is an ongoing process. Every time we eat things like um, coffee and tea and red wine, we are always going to dis discolour our teeth. So whitening, we would say, needs to be done at least once every six months for one or two nights just to keep the white colour of the teeth present. There are two side effects of whitening that we need to discuss and one is the gums. If the trays or the gel or the concentration of the gel is not right or we get too much of the gel on the gums, we can have irreversible damage to the gums. And secondly, we always get some sensitivity with whitening and this is because all whitening and gel cause slight dehydration of the teeth and this dehydration leads to sensitivity. And this can be controlled by using products like Sensodyne but generally only last the times that we actually do in the whitening treatment and then fade fairly quickly. So in summary, whitening is very effective as long as it's done in a very controlled environment. It's really customised for the patient and we know that we can always get white, natural, bright smiles by using whitening treatment.